Hi guys, this is AC Game on Park Revenue video. Now in today's video, I'm going to be doing a gear guide or equipment guide for counter side because well, gear are very, very important in the game, especially when you want to do some PVP content. It can really make or break your account um, in terms of um, which gear you're giving to your characters. So hopefully you guys find this video very informative and useful towards you guys. Obviously, I did not make this article. As you can see, this article was made by Honey Pig, all rights owned by him. But we're going to take a look at it and hopefully you guys like this video don't forget to like the video subscribe stay tuned for more content on counter side let's get to 5k subscribers at 5k subscribers i will be doing a giveaway um tomorrow i will run another giveaway for my 3k subscribers and um yeah stay tuned for that okay let's get right into it so uh first of all there is actually multiple amounts of gear in the game but as you're starting off the main important thing for you guys to focus on is having a gear with the same set so using the same gear of the same set is what you want to do so if you take a look at this character okay it doesn't have any equipment set up now but um if you're going to use a health gear you have to make sure you have at least have two because when you have two of them you do get a bonus for a set bonus where it gives you an additional uh stat so it could be like a crit um buff of 20 percent or a defense bar for something like that so when you're starting off the game you definitely will not have like all the best gears out there or even better gear than tier one but um right now i believe it's like my fourth day playing now so i do have the chance of getting tier four gear tier three gear but the main important thing is just having the gear with the same set that's the, your main priority right now when you want to do some pvp content making sure you progress further you definitely need to have the best gear in your unit so let's take a look at this so how to equip units to go over to your characters you see the slots at the bottom now as you can see one of the slots is locked up you have to limit break your characters or stuff like that to unlock that slot so right now um yeah you should have your weapons your armor and this accessory so good so uh, yeah this is what i'm talking about so this is how your gear is you're going to read it like this so it tells us the color of the background tells us what type of gear it is if it's golden it means an ssr if it's purple it means sr if it's um, blue it's r character and if it's bland with no color it's an n um gear sorry did i say character i mean gear um as you can see it says tier 6 over there that means the highest rarity in the game i believe it's tier 6 um you can actually get a quick gear if you do pvp i believe it's pvp but you can go ahead and exchange your coins from pvp uh pvp coins to get a specific gear the tier 6 gear i did that i managed to get one um i could do multiple times to get more um tier 6 gear but um i'll do that later on um equipment upgrade is 1 to 10 so you can only upgrade your gear all the way to plus 10 uh, it's recommended to do it all the way to plus 5 currently i haven't actually bothered to do that all of my gear are like blaze base base um stats right now i haven't really bothered to upgrade it because i don't have the best like gear out there now and i don't really want to go and build some like tier one gears and stuff like that but yeah i start transitioning to using tier three gear and uh yeah anyways options so some options are fixed these options are fixed for which part of the item used uh the fixed option where is it i believe the fixed option is the one at the bottom um there is changeable options as well some items have one fixed and one changeable option and other has two changeable options you have to pay attention to the changeable option because obviously let's say you have one gear that's meant to be for attackers but the gear just gives you like some hp stuff and you want to change the option it's very important to know that you can find a gear the same attack gear but with different options that prioritize um, dealing damage for your attackers so that, that stuff is very very important so this is how you prioritize your gear first one set options um put two of the same um, gear in, a, in your characters there is three slots but two of them is all you need to unlock this set option and the last one you just put any gear that will benefit the character and then eventually when you unlock the fourth slot you put the gear that is the same as the third um, gear so that you can unlock the set option for that gear as well making sure it's different so if the first two slots you have the health gear the third one should not have the elf gear it should be a different gear and then the fourth one should also have the same gear as the third one the same uh type of gear and then the second priority with your gear is changeable options like i said these options differ to equipment but normally ground attack up ground um, damage resistance and cooldown are considered important and then the next um priority with your gear is the rank and tier 
even if you're starting up the game and you just have tier one um, gear just still use it it's the third thing you need to consider when using your gear the first thing is the set options the changeable options then the rank and tier next up there's different types of equipment and different ways you can get them the normal equipments um, can be obtained uh, um, by crafting them or by item drops with them you can get some hp some ev evasion some cooldown sets there's also some raid equipments you can get molds by purchasing raid points from shop and then craft them first option is fixed with crit damage uh, your options that you want to use is hp evasion cooldown set and take empty slot now cooldown reduction in this game is actually very important because cooldown in your characters are pretty much set as it is so you definitely want to reduce the cooldown so they can do their skills multiple times so very very important the next type of gear is the shadow hole equipment you can get mold by purchasing shadow points from shop and then craft shadow hole is not an sea version so we don't currently have this so i'm gonna ignore this right now um, next time we got season equipments I believe this is what I got the best equipment you could get from content so you get this coins from the granites which is basically your pvp events and support battles so right now if you go ahead and do pvp you will get coins and with the coins you can go ahead and exchange for this gear I got the um, the first piece over there but the main set it has a fixed option with ground attack up and a ground um, damage resistant which is very very important like it says on top the main three important um, skills from the gear is uh, what's it called ground attack up ground damage resistance and cooldown so very very nice uh, what else is there there's also a gradient set a fixed option with long distance damage resistance very nice and there's also the orange bird which first option is long distance slash short distance damage resistant or just damage resistant so i use the maze one i believe that's what i got from the um the shop and from the maze set with this characters only equipment so you can get some equipment from clearing the entire of the character the more you level up the characters the more you stuff you unlock and i believe the last one is when you get all the way to like level 100 or level 90 no level 100 and then you're now able to collect everything from the counter case yes yeah, called counter case so open all five cases need to be level 100 and with that you get a character only equipment so let's go over to this one as well set options for the gear so maze hand this is what i actually currently have in my account there are lots of options but usage are limited and note that 4 set options are only available in SR and SSR. In the tier 3 gear, tier 4 gear, no, actually I actually haven't seen anything with tier 4 but I know for a fact for tier 3 and tier 2, the set option only requires you to have 2 of the same set. Um, however, as you can see tier 6 requires you to have 4 and then this is it. I note that 4 set options are only available in SR and SSR so there we go. So first one attack two which is common okay until spectral set comes out so it's good to have the attack one defense and hp for tanks evasion is viable for characters with high evasion by default such as lee yumi and na yubin i'm butchering the name but they are awakened characters and we don't currently have that i don't think um next up we've got crit damage for Zhao Rin can use it she has 100% crit in passive skill level 5 she's actually pretty good I, I was trying to put gear um, on her that increased the crit damage but yeah so that's something important for that specific character next up we got attack speed increase um, you can use this for Alex Yumina awakened character but Yumina awakened uses spectral blaze set recently uh, cooldown for use for everyone yeah cooldown very very important next up we've got this spectral case set and uh, let's take a look at what how to get this equipment normal set just from drops raid set try keep trying raid zero percent damage on own or friend raid also works uh, shadow hole set actually the thing about raid i've only been able to get two raids since i've started which i'm kind of annoyed about because i don't know how to like get raid i mean i always get raid whenever i complete the uh the little idol stuff in the game and then raid spawns out and then i do it but still even though i completed some raid it says i have zero currency which i'm kind of confused about um next up we got shadow hole set you can get that from shadow hole or buy 75 percent discounted mold on shop uh season equipment keep on each content some character only equipment make level 100 and go to counter case recommended sub options for weapons ground damage and cooldown armor um, damage resistance and cooldown for sub 
ground dead damage and cooldown so yeah a cooldown is just going to be important in this game um i believe that's all i want to cover right now the rest of the stuff for raid as you can see everyone has zero damage here but you still get some points i think you can ask for character support i already did that today as well so yeah that is pretty nice so that is the quick guide for um gear in this game equipment very very important making sure you have the set options available right now is something you guys need to work on and yeah hopefully you guys like this video stay tuned for more content on counter side it's been your boy ac gamer stay hyped and i'm out